In this video, we're going to look at an equilibrium exam question for GCSE Chemistry. Now, my first piece of advice on exam questions is to make sure that you read them very, very carefully. Now, what we've got here is an equilibrium established where nitrogen dioxide, a brown gas on the left-hand side, uh, forms an equilibrium in a sealed container to make dinitrogen tetraoxide, which is a colourless gas here on the right-hand side. Now, the first real key piece of information in the question here is that the Ford reaction has a enthalpy change of minus 58 kilojoules per mole. So that means the Ford reaction is exothermic. So we've got a negative sign for the Ford reaction, it's exothermic going forward. The backwards reaction must therefore be an endothermic reaction, the opposite. Now in the question here, a mixture of the nitrogen dioxide gas and dinitrogen tetraoxide uh, gas is allowed to reach equilibrium in a sealed container at 20 degrees Celsius. This equilibrium mixture is brown in colour. Now, the sealed container is then immersed in hot water at 60 degrees Celsius. There's a really important piece of the question here that we um, will look at later on, but as the temperature of the gas mixture increases, the pressure of the gas mixtures also increases. So they're not going to be independent of one another in this question. Now the first thing they want you to tell, say is what happens to the, um, or predict the effect of the increase in temperature on the position of this equilibrium. So if you increase the temperature in this equilibrium, basically what they want to know is whether it's going to move to the left or whether it's going to move right. Now if you're going to increase the temperature in this reaction, what will happen is the equilibrium will move to oppose the change that's been put upon it. So increasing the temperature means you'll end up doing more of the endothermic reaction. So the equilibrium moves left when the temperature is increased. So increasing temperature the equilibrium, the endothermic reaction, um, it does more of the endothermic reaction, so the equilibrium moves left to produce more NO2 gas. Now in the next part of the question, predict the effect of the increase in pressure on the position of the equilibrium. So now, rather than looking at whether the forward reaction is exo or, uh, exo or endothermic, we need to look at the number of molecules on either side of the, of the equation. So here, we've got two molecules of the NO2 on the left, we have one molecule of N2O4 on the right. And what they'd like to know is what happens to the position of the equilibrium if we increase the pressure. Now remember in the previous part, the equilibrium moves to oppose the change. So if you increase the pressure, it's going to do the same thing. The equilibrium will move to oppose the change that's been put upon it. Now the only way an equilibrium can do that is to move uh, either to the side with more molecules or to the side with fewer molecules. So for this particular one, because we've increased the pressure, the equilibrium for this particular reaction moves right when the pressure is increased. So it's just opposing the change that's been put upon it. Now that's because fewer molecules equals lower pressure. There's fewer molecules uh, smashing into the side of the container if we move to the right-hand side in this particular situation. Now the next thing they want to know is why is it difficult to predict which way the equilibrium will shift? Now for that, you need to look back here in the question where it says, as the temperature of the gas mixture increases, the pressure of the gas mixture also increases. Now the reason that it's difficult to predict which way it's going to shift, we don't know... Um, whether it's going to favour uh, the change in temperature or whether it's going to favour the change in pressure. So because these are both happening at the same time, the increase in temperature is moving the equilibrium left, but the increase in pressure is moving the equilibrium right, so we can't know for sure which way the equilibrium is going to end up moving. In the final part of the question, we need to suggest why the equilibrium mixture is a darker shade of brown, uh, at 60 degrees than the equilibrium mixture at 20 degrees. So in other words, if we look back at the start of the question, why is it lying more to the left than it is towards the right? So, 
The reason that it would um, be a darker brown, first of all, is because it's lying towards the left and there would be a greater proportion of NO2. So if it's brown, that means it's got a greater proportion of the NO2. Now, if we're saying we've got a greater proportion of NO2, it means that the increase in temperature must have a greater effect than the increase in pressure. So, key things here, we need to talk about which way the equilibrium moves um, when we change temperature, which way the equilibrium moves when uh, we change pressure, why the um, equilibrium um, is difficult to um, suggest which way it's going to go, and then finally we need to explain why the equilibrium um, is lying towards the darker side here. And that's because that the increase in temperature has, must have a greater effect than the increase in pressure on this equilibrium. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. I'll go through some more exam questions uh, and post some more videos up on that. If you're not sure on equilibrium reactions, if this is confusing, make sure that you go back and look at the basic introductions to equilibria. Also, make sure that you review about exothermic and endothermic reactions as well. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and also share.